Hey Groovers, Ted here from CC365. I'm just here to show you the newest and thus far easiest and best way to enter your event so that you can promote it all across the Central Coast. Nice and easy. All you have to do anytime you'd like to enter an event, it's absolutely free. Just head to cc365.com.au forward slash submit or you can of course just head to the website and uh, look for one of the numerous submit buttons that are all over the place. So uh, what we're looking for is uh, just all these details, basically the, the basic event type details. So what is your name, uh, your email, so just uh, this is your email is where any notifications will also be sent to you. Any notes you'd like to give us. So these are private notes, as it says there, that you want to let us know. Now, what you can use for this field here is uh, something such as uh, this event repeats weekly on Thursdays or um, uh, repeats every second Sunday of the month, for example. Okay, so you can just let us know little things like that or uh, um, please contact regarding featuring the event. So if you'd like to uh, do one of the paid promotions where you can feature the event all, all across the uh, website or Facebook and Instagram and all those sorts of things, you can let us there that. We'll, we'll get in contact typically via email to uh, set that all up for you or uh, we can give you a buzz on the phone. The event details themselves though, pretty simple. In uh, this scenario, I'm just going to uh, copy one across. Now, link to your website. So this could be for your tickets, where the people buy the tickets, or you can do it back to uh, uh, your Facebook, for example, or just a, if you just want to promote your website, you can certainly do it to wherever you want. Um, in this occasion, people can book here through the Fantasy website. Um, and what you want the button to say. So as it says, keep it short. So it might be buy ticks, T-I-X, or get tickets, more info, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, in this occasion, I'm just going to say book now. Okay, so it is short. This is what will turn into a little button, sort of like this button up here at the top that says check and submit. Uh, that, that's what will appear on all the event page for people to click on and obviously come back and buy their tickets. So if you're using one of the, the um, ticket vendors, by all means, just link back to them so they can buy the, the tickets uh, from there. So keywords or the tags, this is like, think about like categories. Um, you know, what categories do you want the event to be found under? You can uh, select, there's quite a few there and you can uh, certainly do numerous categories and you can just uh, if you think of one just start typing like you can scroll through to see what's there um, or you can just start typing and uh, it'll try and pick whatever's closest um, bit of an adventure uh, there's food and drink and uh, you can also do the demographic so it's uh, for adults 50 plus and that's how it's done oh four events so four tags sorry so if you'd like to add more, then we can add more in for you. Um, okay, image. Very important to uh, add an image, obviously. You now there's multiple ways to do it. If it's already on the website um, or on, on a website somewhere, you can literally just paste in the link here. You can, of course, uh, just upload an a image here from your computer connect to your Facebook, Google Drive, you can see all the things there if you're comfortable with using those to connect it up. Uh, on this occasion it's already on a website so I'm just going to I've paste it in the link there and um, we're just going to upload the photo and you can also uh, give it some final adjustments if it's not quite right. Now this is not the most ideal image for uh, for an event because these these sorts of images, these portrait uh, uh, orientated images don't share well back to Facebook so ideally you want one that's in this sort of format the 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 um, so if you can get one text see all that text there can't read that won't be read on uh, on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that wherever you share it so I'm just gonna get rid of that 
to be honest, because I'd rather focus on this bit here. All this info underneath that we're, we're cutting off, uh, you can, of course, include in the description. By all means, that's what it's there for. In fact, we recommend you include as much information as possible into the description. So uh, speaking of descriptions, again, it's just here. Just um, paste it in or type it in, whatever you'd like. So cost $25 per person. And uh, the better your description here, the, the uh, more chance it's going to be found on uh, on Google as well. So all our events go into uh, a, a neat little Google event type thing uh, in their search. So it's pretty groovy in that regard. And uh, so, yeah, you're, you're far better off to uh, to include more information in there because that, that will just help you out uh, be found in general. So for even uh, people that aren't directly on our website, your event can still be found via Google. Um, in that regard, the address, where's the uh, where's the event at? So uh, you can give the event a name here if you like, um, or you can just type in the street address, and Google Maps will try and find it. So on this occasion, I'm just going to show you how that works. Head along Wharf, you can see there it's given us a, a couple of things to choose from there. This one uh, obviously is the one at uh, Head Long Wharf. Along Beach, so it's popped the name up the top there for us. Pop the address in there, it's showing that uh, Google Maps recognises it. So that is important because uh, when people do click directions um, on the event, it will utilise the Google Maps link to take them there. So if it doesn't recognise it over here, then um, you you may have to try and refine the address a little bit more. You can also add in little directions here too. So if it is a, a uh, somewhere where you can uh, maybe sort of parking is around the back via a separate road or something like that, you know, depending if you if it's not a uh, clear and concise uh, address where people can just turn up and sort it out. It's uh, the events down at uh, Mount Penang, for example, uh, a lot of people go down to the Mount Penang Gardens car park, whereas it, in fact the events portion of the, the park is around the other side, so it's quite often better to do head up uh, past BMW, behind BMW and that sort of stuff, so that's what we've put in there. Um, on this occasion, yeah, again, no need for any extra directions there. When When is your event? Obviously, don't forget to pop in a date. Um, so it's, uh, you know, the date that it starts, the time, and uh, when it finishes, uh, on this occasion it's a couple of hours worth, I'm not sure exactly, it's, uh, just pop that in there, and the event end date, okay. So if the end date, uh, in most cases, will be the same, that's fine, just leave it. If it's the following day, uh, pop it in the following day. If it's a course that goes over numerous weeks, you just the start and end date are the first date of it because once your course has started, typically it's uh, the remaining dates of the course are of no consequence to be advertising. Um, it's all about that main date. And uh, yeah, if you it is repeating. So let's say, for example, this is a Tuesday, uh, Monday, I'm sorry, and um, we want that to repeat every week. Don't forget just to pop it up here. Just say, look, repeats every Monday. And we fix that up behind the scenes okay so we do all that for you and that's it um, pop that in there hit the check and, sub and submit button there it'll come up with a little thing here give us a little overview and we submit the event and that's it you're all sorted we'll take care of it then it'll go into our moderator queue and we'll of course uh, double check everything for you and add it to the website and that's it. Simple as that. Nice and easy. No account required. Just jump in and uh, sort yourself out. Any questions, don't hesitate to sing out. We'll be sure to help. Thanks again.